Hi, welcome to Jerusalem Playroom, and I am here today for a quick discussion um, concerning anyone who just found out they're pregnant and know the sex of the baby and want to know what to get the baby. Here you can see Kimmy. She was just born at seven pounds one ounce, weighing seven pounds one ounce, and Kimmy already has five newborn outfits. Well, newborn outfits ranges from five pounds to seven pounds. Well, since Kimmy's already weighing seven pounds and one ounces, she only needs, her parents only need to get her two newborn outfits. A newborn outfit, maybe two to three newborn outfits. And let me explain why. One outfit would be to take the pictures in the hospital. The other outfit would be for the going home trip. And the third outfit would be for the first doctor's visit. By the time Kimmy gets to her first doctor's visit, she's probably going to go ahead and be weighing about maybe she has accumulated some ounces or she may have went ahead and, and jumped from seven pound one ounces to eight pounds. So in a particular baby shower, Kimmy would need clothes ranging from zero to three months, three to six months, six to nine months and nine months to 12 month clothing based on the time of the year she was born usually during the summertime months the winter clothes are on clearance which is a good time as right now Kimmy would be nine months in the month of January so if you're going shopping for Kimmy you may be able to find an outfit for about two dollars that you can present to her mother and her father for her to wear when she's nine months of age this way, this will help Kimmy's parents as where she has her clothes stockpiled for the whole first year of her life. What I typically like to do is I usually like to ask the parents um, what they want for their child. And most, and I ask usually when I, when I go to a baby shower, most of the time I see the same things, the same things given, the gifts given over and over, the same gifts given over and over, which the children do not, the babies do not get a chance to wear these clothing. <clears throat> Another thing that I do is I always ask my parents, are you going to breast or bottle feed? This is something that's asked in the hospital. If the mother decides that she's going to breastfeed, she can then also, um, at the baby shower, if somebody says that and the mother says breastfeed, then that can be your option to say, well, what would you like to store your milk in? Because most breast uh, mothers who breastfeed, they pump a lot and they need something to store their breast milk in. Some of them may want little plastic bags or some of them may want bottles. So you can ask them what's their choice of bottles. This particular mother, Kimmy's parents, decided that they wanted to bottle feed them due to health reason, which is okay. So, Kimmy, right now, this bottle, this is real formula. Since she is a newborn baby, in the hospital, they're going to require the mother to feed the baby um, according to their regulations, their rules, uh, based on their education. In this situation, I'm just going to say, let's say that Kimmy right now is only drinking two ounces to help preserve milk. Usually the milk can last anywhere. Cans of milk can last almost for like two years, which is ample time. But if you want to stretch that out, you can just make Kimmy a, this bottle is a little bit over two ounces but you can give Kimmy just two ounces of milk she may not drink all of this if she doesn't drink all this you can pour it out and give her some more and then the more she drinks the more you can give her you can increase it from two ounce to three ounce to these four ounce bottles usually I like the three um the four ounce bottles because they're really good up until the baby is three months then from three to six months they start to drink a little more well let's say Kimmy is ready for a first doctor's visit and she has on this outfit. Well, what do you take on the first doctor visit? You can just take a change of clothes, just in case she spit up. You can take a birth cloth, um, maybe a blanket. You don't have to take a whole lot. Less is possible because the more you take, usually you'll end up forgetting something. And most department stores, restaurants always have a lost and found of children clothing, children toys, children cups. You'll be surprised at the stuff that is left behind because of children. Well, Kimmy's still just drinking about two ounces of milk. So, Mommy got set. Then, Mommy can have another bottle of just water. This is a, a nine-ounce bottle. She can fill this up with water and just take that. Then, she can just have two separate bottles and put formula in there. If Kimmy's going to drink four ounces, 
she can go ahead and just add the water from there into this bottle. That'll prevent the mother from having to get up, going to the restroom, trying to find a, a vending machine to buy some water. She already has what she needs for little Kimmy. And that'll save on uh, any type of frustration or anything like that. You don't have to take... I see a lot of people, when I go out or working at the daycare, everybody brings this. We <laughs> this And this can here is expired. This is an old can. We don't want to see this. We don't have time, especially working in daycare, to fix milk. It would be so much easier for us if you give us the bottle like this and prepare. And that way, once your baby comes, we can say, oh, she drunk four ounces of milk. Or you can see where my baby's being fed because my baby's being uh, my baby's drinking milk. So if you have bottles like this, send them to the daycare. I already feel it makes the daycare worker's job so much easier. And trust me, I know because I used to work at a daycare. Another thing, too, <clears throat> when you're having a baby shower, my thing, the best thing to give a mother is anything that's, is, if you can give her white, that's good. Because with a white shirt, like that one, you can always match them up with pants. Different kind of pants, you can have a different kind of head bowl on there. You can change the colors. It is so much easier to have a baby, and it's simple. Because they're going to mess up clothes. No matter what you get them, they will mess up. They're going to spit up, throw up anything. Uh, usually, when they come home, they use the bathroom a lot. And I've had my grandchildren where they had boo-boo all up their back. So, they're going to mess up. So, something that's simple and easy to change is good. A lot of department stores have outfits like this, which I, I love and I like. Because of the simple fact, you can always change these up. I had a pair of pink pants. I don't know where they are. But these right here, you can match it with that one day. With that, you can put a skirt with it. It's easy and some socks. And look, Kimmy is ready to go. You don't have to, if you have to leave somewhere and dad's there and dad's like, what to put on? Something simple like this is easy to go and your baby looks still look cuter in public without you um, having your baby tacky. So I love outfits like this where you can match and match. And again, this is zero to three months. So your baby can have a coordinated wardrobe wearing items that you're going to get to wear every day versus <clears throat> having multiple outfits that you know you're not going to um you're not going to use you're not going to change you're not going to have time to do so kimmy is still cute and dressed for success now let me see how to do this okay so I just went to Kimmy's baby shower, and Kimmy, um, mom is she, the baby's due in April, which is this month. She's born. Well, I purchased Kimmy a three month outfit. This is what I purchased Kimmy. I like Carter's. I like a lot of Carter's is one of the number one brands here that I see in multiple stores in Birmingham, Alabama. They do have a depart their own department store, but their brands of clothes is just the one I see a lot. There are other brands out there, but Carter's just a, a big one here that I see. Now it's July, so Kimmy has this outfit. Now if it's hot, Kimmy mom can take that off and she can wear that as an outfit. If it's cold or they go into the store or church or something like that and it, and it gets a little cool, her mom can put that back on and make a, a jacket. Or if she wants to put some pants on, she can. And this outfit can be used for multiple things. And Kimmy, you didn't set up here and stockpile Kimmy clothes because Kimmy now has enough outfits to wear when she's zero to three months. <clears throat> Another thing I like too. Let's say that Kimmy was born in the winter months and you want to get her some from the summer. Well, this outfit here is a 9 to 18, I'm sorry, a 9 to 12 month. This is a perfect gift that you can give. Even though Kimmy may not be able to wear it now as a newborn, but when she turns 9 to 12 months or even on her first birthday, this would be an outfit that she can wear. And I really like that with the little elephants. It's really cute. So. Here also, and this is a, I just wanted to show Kimmy here with that. And let me move, I'm going to move Kimmy aside. <clears throat> okay, here is little Jade. This outfit is also a zero to three months, which Kimmy could wear. And this is the outfit, even though it's perfect for the holiday. Uh -oh. It's perfect for the holiday. 
Jay can Kimika had this on from newborn up until now. So it is three months. So I I really like that on how that and how it looks on Jay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. I just wanted to show a quick way of how you can utilize what you have. You don't have to have a lot. Again, if you are having a baby, only get three newborn outfits because based on their size, newborn goes from five to seven to seven pounds. And you want to make sure that your little one is wearing those outfits instead of those outfits just being safe, just being in your closet and you can't your baby can't wear them or either donate them to the thrift store where i can go in and buy them or donate them to someone who's really in need of them thanks again for watching um jerusalem playroom and you have a great day okay bye bye